special series, Boys Changing the World. Remember, of course, we did Girls Changing the World not long ago. Right. Last fall, you did introduce us to some very cool girls. We've been waiting for the boys. Yeah, it's Boys mm -hmm. Turn this week. So we headed over to the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum for this one to meet Romanio Golfin Jr. He might only be eight years old, but it's already clear for him the sky is the limit. I had the idea that I wanted to make a star. You want to make a star? Yes, I did, and I said I wanted to put it in the Andromeda Galaxy. Why? Why do you want to make a star? I just had the idea when I was four. Do you think it's possible to make a real star? I do. How are you going to do that? I'm going to have to make a new physics. <laughs> yes, you heard right. Romanio, who's only eight, wants to invent a new physics and a new star. He also had a great interest in understanding more about the elements and how they worked and how the universe is in us and we are in the universe. So that was really the conversations we started having probably around two and a half. What's that? Oh. Very good. And it paid off. Romanio knows his stuff, like electron configuration. You can challenge me all you want. I know the electron configuration of pretty much all the elements. How about N? Nitrogen. Yes. 1S2. 2s2, 2p3. This is easy for me. I heard you like the big words. Cyclex and carboxylic acid, but. Wait, 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 wait. what? <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Keeping Cyclex up with him wasn't easy. Acid. The electron was also upgraded. Now it's 9.1093835. Five, six. How do you keep all those numbers in your head? That's amazing. Well, because as I said, once you master it, it's, it's child's play. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? His playground includes trips to museums like the Intrepid. That is an impeding storm. And the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. All part of his homeschool curriculum. So we'll have homeschool at a museum, and then we'll go upstairs and study a painting. Romanio, who has been referred to by some academics as the next Einstein, keeps his dad on his toes. Well, you have a science background, yeah, yeah. but he's probably surpassing that almost already. He is, he is. You know, we focus on uh, the, the creative scientist in him, uh, which is why playground play is essential for his development. It's essential for his mind. I was going to ask you, yeah. because people might see this and think, does he get to be a kid? You know, we do a, a really mean scooter, you know? <laughs> yeah. Romanio's parents say he has a normal childhood. We're going down the slide. Enjoys the playground and building with Legos. But he's a science superstar. Let's go look at the rocket. What do you think? How many kids get a VIP pass to a rocket launch at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center? Come on. And what is this camp? And one-on-ones with NASA engineers and their space-bound experiments. Could you show me some organic chemistry? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's not exactly <laughs> rocket science, but using french fries and popcorn, Romanio showed me how to build hydrocarbon. So that's supposed to be methane CH4, that is the simplest hydrocarbon. Do you ever eat your hydrogens? Try some hydrogens with me. Those are carbons. Oh, I'll never learn. No, you will. Trust me, this is easy. Unless you want to eat the uh, element of life, this is carbon. This is perfect. <laughs> the element of life, I'll share it. Cheers. Okay, come on. Oh my God. Okay, this wow. kid is incredible. I wouldn't even show it. He also has pit perfect pitch. You what? can play a note, and he's like, E yeah. diminished seven. Like, it's, he's incredible and a great kid, and, I, and I've said it all so week great. long. These kids are amazing. Their parents are amazing. Wow. It's an example of like when, when parents are just pouring themselves into you their see it. I feel like a slacker. I know, right? <laughs> you, you did. I was like the dope of this, this show. I was going to say, you've never looked more confused <laughs> in that know. interview when he was rattling off the elements. I know. I was like, what? Well, what? Are you, you going to have a what? cheeseburger and carbons for lunch <laughs> yeah, there? I, I guess, exactly. I was like, oh, French fries. That yeah. was awesome. It's like, like a dream <laughs> seal. <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.